It's really great to be here at Impressionist Week. I, every Impressionist seems to have a signature impression. For me, it's John Madden. Uh, I love it when he explains things that you already know. He'll say things like, uh, you, you, you need to see. <laughs> because it, it, seeing is important. And if you can't see, then, then, you, then, you, then you don't know what you're looking at. His partner is Al Michaels, a guy who's known for the phrase, Do you believe in miracles? Yes! Which I say whenever the entire audience gets that. Here's a guy who doesn't say it that often. But <laughs> he's not, He was the greatest play-by-play -play man of all time, but John Madden has turned him into the and by and man. Because and is the only word you can say after Madden states the obvious. You have to say it over and over again until Madden's finally done. Madden will say something like, Hey, that guy right there, that guy's got mud on his jersey. And, and, uh, and now there's less mud on the field, and, and now he's got to get a clean jersey, and, and I don't know, Pat never did this crap to me. I miss Pat Summerall. Pat Summerall had the greatest voice of all time. Never used it, though. Just did those little phrases and thanked John Madden for everything he said. Guy be running down the field, he could paint a beautiful picture, but all he did was that, those little phrases, that, to the 20, to the 25. <laughs> There's a flag on the play. Hey, if the referee, if he throws the flag and he didn't make a mistake, then there's probably, there is probably going to be a penalty. <laughs> Thanks, John. It's, it's the little things that I love watching in people, like President Bush. I love it. Sometimes he'll get up to the podium and he'll have to talk about something very serious, but he has that smirk on his face the entire time. It's like somebody told him a joke backstage, or a really dirty joke, and that's the only thing he can think of while he's going up. And he knows he can't tell it to you, but he's thinking about it and wants to let you in on it. He'll get up there and be like... Hello, America. <laughs> and those of you from Nantucket. <laughs> those back there know what I'm talking about. He can put if I or it Kate onto anything that's a Bushism. I gotta think of I. <laughs> I must brainificate. <laughs> He's the only president who can answer a question like a 17 year old girl. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's really weird, that kind of stuff, you know? Uh, the, uh, the weirder the voice, the, the more fun they are to watch. Like Norm MacDonald. I love Norm MacDonald. Great comedian. But uh, he's, he's, if you don't know who he is, he's the guy who's the theory. Who needs a punchline when you have the word crack whore? <laughs> See, I said that. Oh, God, I just said it there, you know? I understood if I had it. <laughs> I was here. I did this thing about President Bush bobbing his head kind of like a turkey, gobble, gobble. And it, it ended up where I was working in front of Congress with Vice President Cheney sitting right next to me. And I was doing the gobble, gobble thing because I'm an idiot. Here's a guy who doesn't always think. And then, so I'm doing the gobble, gobble thing. I look over, I'm expecting Cheney to be mad. He's laughing his ass off, right? Cheney's on the side of me like, ah. ah. He starts to laugh so hard he looks like the penguin from Batman. He's like, wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. gobble, gobble. Wah, wah. There's a guy who all his impressions turn into birds. <laughs> Every time I'm here, the only thing I can think of is Dave on the side going, <laughs> Hey kids, uh, 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 this, uh, I could listen to that John Madden all day. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think, Paul? I could listen to it top two hours, tops. Two hours tops, Dave. <laughs> e. <laughs> Here's a guy who wasn't sure how that one would work. Let's go on to the next one. <laughs> I'm not sure if you should have done it. I thought it was okay, Dave. Okay. <laughs> There's a guy laughing at me right now. Uh, Jeff Goldblum. I love Jeff Goldblum because he'll commit to something 100% and then do a complete 180. I know. That's a lot of math. Uh, <laughs> some of these jokes, you have to be a rocket surgeon. <laughs> but he will. He'll, he'll commit to something. 
and, and it, it, you know, he'll be like, uh, he'll be like, what's your favorite food? I like hot dogs. They're very, very good. I like hot dogs, mustard, ketchup, all kinds of things. Chili dogs are great. Chili dogs are really good. Uh, uh, oh, wait a second. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> and I've always seen impressionists do uh, like uh, bits with. With, where they do the Wizard of Oz, and they put all the characters in the, in the, in the place of the, uh, or the impressions in the place of the characters. If I was going to remake the Wizard of Oz, I'd remake it with Robin Williams, and that's it. Just let him do the whole thing by himself. So here we go. Who dares bother the all and powerful Wizard of Oz? Oh my God, what an incredibly wonderful place. <laughs> but who the heck does your decorating? Silence! Whoa, tacos for lunch. It's just, it's just, it's just in the little people like Father the Elephant Road, Father the Elephant Road. Whoa, Lovely Fantasy Island, Man Sick Romulo, Willy Wonka, Part 2. Oompa Loompa, Dibbity Doo, Sigrun, Devils, and Gobstopper. Not that funny, but fun to say. And we're dancing. And we're back home on Madonna. Madonna Conway, where's the ass? Come on, nobody turned on the inside. It was amazing and wonderful. Because I met up with a guy who's made out of straw. I said, hey man, whoa, hey man, straw. That's a joke right there. <laughs> Apparently not for all of you. <laughs> so you got hay over here, and then straw over here. You got hay man, straw man. Straw man is the scarecrow. That's a synonym. You know what a synonym is? I love synonym. That's my favorite flavor. <laughs> Back for breakfast, I have synonym toast crunch. How you guys doing? <laughs> well, my name's Frank. I'm kind of a dork. Uh, I always wish I had a cool voice, you know? Sean Connery's got a cool voice. You know that voice he uses all the time? Anybody? <laughs> you can meet a woman anywhere, a bar, a tavern, a zoo, pretty much anywhere they serve alcohol. You could be like at a petting zoo, it'd be like, nice goat. <laughs> Even the female animal's like, oh my god. <laughs> Moo. He's got the James Bond thing working for him, you know? He could be like, the name's Bond, James Bond. And we're like, oh, yes, it is. <laughs> and I'd like to bond with you, Mr. Connery. Quick impression, Sean Connery is Austin Powers. Does my ass make you horny, baby? <laughs> I'm a big football fan. I, I love football. I don't care about the teams. I don't care about the players. I only care about one person, my idol, the announcer, John Madden. I love John Madden. Because he makes me feel smart. <laughs> John Mann explains that you already know. He doesn't give you any new information. Just sit there with his Fox NFL etch a sketch drawn circles on guys' asses. He'll say things in a game like, eh, if, the, if the quarterback, eh, eh, if, if he throws the ball and the receiver catches it in the end zone, then that's gonna, that, that's gonna, that, 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 that's gonna be a touchdown. Even my mom, who's never watched football in her entire life, is like, no, duh. <laughs> a couple years ago, Troy Aikman from the Cowboys lost his contact lens. This is what Madden said, word for word. I couldn't make it up. Here's a guy who, when he puts his contacts in, he can see better. <laughs> Anything else, Nostradamus of the end zone? John Madden is so annoying he could drive a guy to drinking. Which explains Pat Summerall's problem, doesn't it? <laughs> Summerall's got a great voice. He doesn't use it, though. He just does his little phrases and thanks John Madden for everything he says. Guy's running down the field. He can paint a beautiful picture with the language, but all he does is that, To the 20, to the 25, there's a flag on the play. Hey, if the referee, if he throws a flag and he didn't make a mistake, then there's probably going to be a... a, 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 a penalty. Thanks, John. <laughs> I always like the lessons they try and teach you on the shows, too. I always wish they would have tried to teach you a lesson on Seinfeld. They had, like, the anti-drug episode. You know, they come on and... Tonight, on a very special Seinfeld, Jerry's been doing drugs.
Why do my fingers look like little people? <laughs> Who are these people? What are they doing? They're talking to each other. They're probably talking about me. What are they saying, George? Help me, George. I have no idea, Jerry. No idea. Somebody has to help me. Somebody. Hey, Jerry. <laughs> you look like you've been seeing little people on your fingers. <laughs> all this comedy all these years, we thought you're making this stuff up. Well, you just let the cat right out of the bag.